Today's beer is a secret. Shh. Oh, what be going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a bottle of Secret Saison by the Innocent Gun Brewing Company. Oh yeah, this was in a four pack of their beers that I bought a couple months ago. And apparently this, this secret beer was made exclusively for me. It was made just for me, even though I'm sure many other people got the same thing. But yeah, just really weird that they released a bottle with really not, I don't know, can, yeah, it's come through. You can see they've got a... A kind of custom bottle but with nothing on it and it's a saison but it doesn't seem like there's all, all that much yeastiness in there so that could be nice good place for that to be let's crack her open and let's see what we've got uh, I'm not really sure I think I might do the final swish thing with this but at the same time I might as well just swish her and get her all on there. Fuck it. It's relatively clear. And... No, it didn't really... Didn't really affect it that much at all. It doesn't look bad. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world. Go to those who watch my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Definitely a little hazy. But nothing, you know, scary looking in the look of it at all. It looks... It looks okay. I didn't really point this out before either when I was doing it, before I did the pour. Uh, innocentgun.com. No, .co.uk, right? That's the right one? Yes. No, it's all com. Awesome. Innocent Gun got... Innocent Gun got... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they got a bunch of different beers. Check them out. They actually seem like a really cool Scottish craft brewery. Probably the only Scottish craft brewery that I've ever tried. I, I, no, don't even... I almost tried to attempt a Scottish accent. Bad idea. Oh, that smells really nice and malty. Sorry, fucking. That's gonna end up making noises. Let's give it a shot. Holy crap. That is a fucking fantastic beer. Like, the lingering back of the throat multi characteristics are perfect in that beer. Oh, it's so good. It's still just sitting there. Yeah. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Oh, it's so good. The sweetness, the malty sweet, just... Holy Christ, that is fantastic. What does this weird little tag thing even say? Okay, we already said it was brewed exclusively for me. Brewed with pale and Munich malts, finished with a blend of spices and botanicals complementing the zesty citrus fruit flavors. 4.5% alcohol. That's actually very low for Innocent Gun Beer. And then in their ingredient list, as always, contains wheat and barley malt. Excuse me. No bad flavors there. Oh, we got some kind of uh, best before July 17th. So, yeah. Ingredient list and best before date. But aside from that, really, I gotta stop doing that. Hitting the underside of my table. Uh, that's not even a table, but counter. You know, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. You understand. You know words. Can't be any worse with them than I am. Today being March 16th, on this date, 1926, Robert Goddard launched the first liquid-fueled rocket at Auburn, Massachusetts. I hate that. Mass Massachusetts. Ma the state that I'm trying to say. That's actually a picture of him with his whole like little assembly there being all bundled up for the cold because it was this time of year in Massachusetts. Yeah, it's 
pretty cool. I have a remote control car. <laughs> Never flown a rocket though. I'm sure you, it's something that anybody can do though. Like you go onto the internet and you look up how do I make a little homemade rocket and I'm sure there's like at least a hundred different ways you could make a homemade rocket that wouldn't, you know, be dangerous. Just like for experiment for your kids or something like that. If you're one of those kind of people that's reproducified. I have not. On this date in 1945, 90% of Würzburg, Germany, I think it's it's W, U, and the U has the two little dots on it. Yeah. Würzburg, Germany was destroyed only 20 minutes by British bombers, resulting in around 5,000 deaths. It looked like that. And then 20 minutes later, there was like just rubble and stuff everywhere. Yeah. Although at the same time, how many deaths did Germany cause? Hmm? Hmm? Well, didn't that firebombing of Tokyo result in like the deaths of like 100,000 civilians? So, but still, Germany, the Jews, the Holocaust, those in the millions, I think they're at the top for deaths in World War II. Not overall, there's been other giant massacres, but let's not speak of massacres. Speak of amazing beer, like, it is like a citrusy kind of, the way the sweetness works with the maltiness. I almost would have thought Pilsner malt for some weird reason. The way it just, it's got that characteristic, but it says what, pale and Munich malts? I don't know. And noble hops? The, the, the combination of shit that you put into the tank to make this beer was spot on Innis and Gun people. Oh, this is great. It's definitely another one of those beers that makes my mouth, my voice go all crazy for two seconds. Kind of sad that the only way that this was available was in that four pack and I can't even buy that four pack anymore because it's not available anymore. I don't know, maybe maybe if I lived in Scotland, there'd still be some available, but oh, you could bottle this, pardon me. I can put an actual label on it, bottle it, sell it. I think you'd do okay. Sorry, I got random semi hiccups trying to form right now. Just shake them out. Shake out the hiccups. <gasps> On this date in 1958, the Ford Motor Company produced its 50 millionth automobile, which was the Thunderbird. Never been a big fan of the Thunderbird. I don't know, apparently like it was really revolutionary kind of the way that the, the top folded down and like folded under this. But at the same time, the way it was designed, there was like a million little tiny things that could fail. And if one of any of those middle million little things failed, the whole thing was fucked. And it apparently leaked very badly as well. So they tried to bring it back not too long ago and it wasn't super successful, I think. I don't know. I've never been a huge real Ford fan. The GT, that was cool. Nah, nah. <laughs> I'm a pretty goddamn big Innocent Gun fan, though. Like, I think I've got two more. Like, I can't, it's, I'm surprised at how many different beers they release and that come here, come here to North Bay, considering they're in Scotland. That's pretty badass. Like, I've got some kind of, there's a Toasted Oak IPA coming up, which I've already tried. I had to buy a six pack of it. The only way I could do it. So I may have already drank five and left one for review purposes. And good stuff. And then there's some kind of spiced porter type thing that's coming up as well. And by the time I drink that one, maybe another one will have arrived in the beer store slash LCBO. Oh, sorry. Jesus. It might be nearing my bedtime. Let's uh, say, finally on this date in 1968, which is just kind of funny because it's 10 years after the previous fact 
But 10 years after Ford Motors produced its 50 millionth automobile, GM produced its 100th million automobile. 100th million? No, 100 millionth. And it was the Oldsmobile Toronado, which from everything I read was a lot better an automobile when it was released than the Thunderbird was when it was released. It was like some revolutionary front wheel drive system and some cool transmission. And I just noticing how the picture I chose has a really funny reflection of a guy just standing there admiring the car. <laughs> That's mildly humorous. I don't know. I thought it was funny, but yeah, I kind of thought that was interesting that the, both those things occurred on the same day, just 10 years apart. So I'd say GM overall, I don't know about to this date, but at that point, I'd say they were obviously a little bit ahead. Even though I believe the Mustang back in those days pretty much beat the Camaro like almost every year in sales. They were like the two head-to-head, -head, the Pony Wars. I don't know. Rambling, three number last. I did it again. Stop doing that. I've been good at that, like putting the glass down gently and stuff and trying to go like this gently. And it's just, I, this catches me. It's, it's annoying. Innocent Gun, your secret saison is fucking delicious. And it is getting a rating. I'm going to give you a solid nine. I'm only going to take off half a mark for the date and the ingredients thing. Because while you don't put all your ingredients, I can I can kind of appreciate that you you seem to ship your beers to a lot of different countries with a lot of different languages. So to put the entire ingredient list in all of those different languages would be a hell of an undertaking and just take up all of the labels. So I can kind of appreciate that. And it was just that good. It was fucking delicious. If anybody finds a four pack with that in it, buy it. And that's going to do it for today's daily drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, be sure to smash that subscribe button because some send me. Put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again. And I'll be back with another daily drink vlog tomorrow. A peace out. I really am kind of sad that I'm I don't know if I'll ever get to try that beer again. Like, do they release a secret saison every year and I hadn't tried it before? I don't know. Probably not. Probably a one-off. I want more.